Well, my name is uh, Joe Chan, uh, working at the Brand Behavior Discovery Institute at the Georgia Health Sciences University. Uh, my laboratory is interested in learning and memory, and in this particular study, we try to understand how the neurons in the dopamine uh, regions uh, control the habit formation. What we found is the NMD receptor uh, sitting on the surface of the, these dopamine neurons play a very important role in the forming of the habit. So it has been long known uh, from clinical studies that Parkinson's patients not only have this typical tremor and, and a locomotor deficit, but they have also a cognitive impairment related with a habit and the, the acquired skills. So uh, the, there's a notion about the dopamine may be related or uh, important in regulating the habit formation. What we found is uh, by uh, using a conditional uh, genetic technology, by deleting the NMD receptor NR1 subunit, uh, which is a critical subunit uh, for the channels, uh, exclusively in the dopamine neurons of the mouse brain. And, and what we found is uh, through a series of behavioral uh, analysis, these animals are profoundly impaired in forming a new habit. What we did, we used two kinds of paradigms. One is a spatial navigation paradigm. In this case, the animal learned to obtain a procedure that turning right, and that's one kind of paradigm. The second paradigm is when the animal learned to press lever uh, in order to get a food reward. So in this case, animal will learn to press a lever, and wherever they press the lever, they would get a food reward reward. We increase the difficulties. The animal was forced to press the lever many times, but they will be re rewarded with a chocolate pellet or something. We have both groups of animals doing this experiment. In the control animal, the press many times, after thousands of times, they become habit. Surprisingly, a lot of the dopamine-related uh, cognitive aspects, such as uh, anxiety and the locomotor activities, and the simple cue association memory tasks, they are all uh, quite uh, normal. So, so there's this in this particular case, there's a, a very selective lesion or deficit uh, related with the habit. Uh, we believe this uh, studies reveal this critical role of the NMD receptor in the dopamine neurons uh, in controlling the habit. What we did here is we give animal a cue that predict a food reward, and we see how the dopaminergic neuron would respond in the mutant group and in the wild type group. What we found is in the wild, in the wild type, uh, dopaminergic neurons, whenever you give a tone that predict a food reward, the dopaminergic neuron tend to react to the tone by spiking, by bursting, which means firing at very high frequency towards this cue. It's a, it's a cellular behavior of learning that the cell actually learned this cue is predicting a food reward. Uh, the mutant dopaminergic neuron, unlike the well type, is a little bit different. They do still respond to this reward predicting cues, but the response is drastically reduced. Uh, a term we use is called dampened. Um, what we think is this reduced response would probably be sufficient for a lot of other learning, which contribute to some normal observation in, in some other behavior paradigms. But this actually are so essential, the response strengths were so essential for habit learning that the habit learning was actually impaired in this animal. Therefore, we think an MDA receptor as a booster is essential for habit learning. I think, of course, you know, translating from basic research to clinical always takes a lot of time, but the basic research is important. In this particular case, uh, we believe you, you, you opened up a door to look into how the cognitive aspect, say, related with the Parkinson's symptoms can be maybe targeted or treated uh, uh, in light of this type of research.